I will be ranting on Demolition Doofus, an episode from SpongeBob SquarePants. Enjoy. Let me tell you reasons why you should demolish this episode. It's just another generic plot related to Mrs. Pulf's boarding school where SpongeBob fails to pass his driving test and Mrs. Pulf getting injured and hospitalized as a result. As usual, SpongeBob is a complete moron and his flanderization has gone too far, evident when he immediately started crashing into cars instead of being slightly careful and remote when Mrs. Pulf tells him to stop causing Mrs. Puff to inflate larger and larger, until they get airborne and crashing into the school's lighthouse. He also makes insensitive remarks about the fact that he crippled Mrs. Puff for a life, even going as far as him stating that she looks better in her current state. Mrs. Puff herself is no better, as she is portrayed as a cold-blooded psychopath who straight up tries to murder Spongebob rather than being the paranoid but patient teacher she has always been. While she has every right to be angry at Spongebob for his actions, she should be smart and mature enough to acknowledge that seeking revenge and murder is not the answer. In that note, it is unclear as to who the viewer should root for. It is hard to root for Mrs. Puff due to her attempts to murder Spongebob. It is also hard to root for Spongebob as well, as he is completely oblivious to the fact that he crippled Mrs. Paul for life. It is also a blatant rehash of Ball of Revenge, an episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog, even though that episode aired 10 years earlier, even though that episode was not any better. Mrs. Pulp putting Spongebob into a demolition derby to get him killed feels more like something out of a bad robot chicken Spongebob scale or a really bad Spongebob parody rather than a natural Spongebob episode. Unfunny and cruel attempts at humor. Predictable plot where Spongebob wins each time by doing almost nothing wrong. The infamous scene where Mrs. Pulp enters the derby using a large truck and gives Spongebob chase in a desperate attempt to kill him. She is also hitting innocent civilians as if she is playing Karma Jaden. Spongebob, at this point, is shown to be driving flawlessly due to what can only be described as plot contrivance. Ridiculous ending, Mrs. Puff and Spongebob both crash into the boating school and Mrs. Puff somehow randomly regains her puff. They then get injured by the school, which the tower collapses and crushes them, and the episode ends there. How do you call that an ending? Neither Spongebob nor Mrs. Puff get any comeuppance for their respective unjustified actions, unlike in most other episodes focused around Mrs. Puff's boarding school, where Mrs. Puff always gets arrested for no discernible reason, even though here, she does not get punished for her heartless deeds. Mrs. Puff's infamous quote, Why are you still alive? Which proves that she wants Spongebob dead. That's all I have to say. Bye for now.